Now, since I'm using my solution file, my project to elaborate the concept of connecting a C Sharp Inform application to an MS Access database file, I'm also going to explain a little bit about my project, what settings I have set so far, and what uh, UI controls I've added to my C Sharp Inform, and the names, the design names that are going to be used in the code so that you have no problem in understanding uh, which values are assigned to which UI control and so forth. Now I have a solution called database, uh, database and image, and the project name is exactly the same. Then I have added a win, win form, C sharp win form called images db.cs, as you can see, which is permanent right over here. And if you will, uh, we'll go to the code later, but first let's have a look at what are the UI controls I've added. Now from the toolbox right over here, I have added certain controls, which is a picture box. Then there are a couple of buttons, as you can see right here. I'll start from the leftmost and go one by one and see the design names, all these UI controls. Now this button, which is viewable as load from DB, its name is BTN2PB, and its simple purpose is to load images from the database, um, MS Access database file, onto our C Sharp application into the picture box right here. And then we have two buttons called the previous and next, and uh, correspondingly, their design names are btn prev for reviewing the previous record in the ms access database file that is the previous image stored in it and the next button is called the btn next and is for viewing the next record wherever we are pointing to in the database right now then we have a button called the btn delete uh, that is del for delete and simple purpose is to delete whatever image you are viewing on your picture box at the moment, delete it from the MS Access database file. Then we have another pair of buttons called, one is called the browse button and its uh, design name is BTN browse and its simple purpose is to prompt the user to select any image stored on uh, their hard drive. And once it is selected, it, it is going to show right on the C sharp form. Then we have a button called save to db uh, whose design name is btn to db and its simple purpose is to send whatever image is showing on this form at the moment uh, to send it and store it at the last at, at a new record uh, as a new record in the ms access database file now that's for the buttons and for the picture box the picture box is simply named picture box one I am missing one component and that is called open image DLG, the, the design name that I've kept for my code. And this is basically if you go to the toolbox and scroll down, you can see that there are dialogues and this is the open file dialog. Uh, this control, this component of uh, C sharp is simply to display a dialog box that prompts the user to open a file. And by the way, uh, the previous next and the delete buttons are disabled initially. Uh, I kept them disabled because as you can see, their property enabled is set to false for all of these uh, three components because I want them to be enabled only when I have finally successfully loaded my data from my MS Access database file to my C Sharp form where I'm viewing some images, only then I want to be able to navigate and delete. Of course, otherwise there would be no meaning to calling the functions. Uh, it would sim simply generate errors. So that's it for the design names and um, the overview of the application that we I have made. And this explanation is meant to aid you in understanding the code that I'm going to explain next.